it would strangle you. <laughs> I started the episode right as you said that. <laughs> oh, ah, uh, good. Uh, hello. Uh, hello, <laughs> hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, the you Mega. You don't need to know what we were talking about. It's fine. <laughs> That's so funny. To, I, I just I thought it'd be funny to just start the recording halfway through your sentence and just see what you said. <laughs> it came out with that. Uh, anyways, welcome back to the mega. I'm pretty sure. Gungeon. I'm pretty sure that's illegal. Um, <laughs> it might be where anyways. you live, but it's not here. Um, oh, you know, uh, I, you know, I wouldn't dare go up against the British. But any, anyways, anyways, for those of you that are uh, just joining us now, which I don't know why I even said that because everyone's just joining us now. Um, it's not a live stream. For those of you who didn't skip ahead <laughs> through this introduction because you hate the sound of our voices. For those of you that only watch the gameplay segments and don't listen to any of the audio. Um, anyways, we recorded this episode like a few days ago and for some reason... Well, when... this, not this episode. Well, no, not this episode, but an episode of Gungeon. We recorded a episode, yes. We, what I did is my cursed burial ground PC always has this horrible thing where Gungeon breaks horrifically. So I reinstalled Gungeon, mod the Gungeon, Gungeon Burn, all the mods, reinstalled them all completely. Took us about an hour, um, but we, we got it all done and then we recorded an episode and it was good. And it was really fun, and I liked it. But then I found out that in the process of that, for some reason, it had disabled my microphone and my desktop audio within OBS, so we had literally no audio for the whole episode, and it had to be scrapped, which was very sad. So now we're back again, doing the re-record. Have you checked? Have I have. Checked I'm, I'm literally sure. I'm watching the levels bounce up and down right now, and I have recorded a bon, video se bon, se bon, between se bon, then se... and now, so it's fine. We're okay. Good. Yeah, so now, so now this we're... isn't going to be that episode verbatim. I don't know why he's framing it as if we're doing like a recast. You know? Well, we're not going to do a recast of the commentary, it's... but I, I'm going to try and at least go back through the alt path. Because basically in the last episode, I went through the uh, Expand the Gungeon alt path because I haven't done that in a while. And I know there's a lot of new viewers to the Gungeon modded series. So I said series then, instead of series, series. Um... So I'm going to do that again. Sorry. I'm going to try and go through the alt path again. But anyways, let's just jump into a run and get started and see what happens. Yeah. Well, it's, yeah. We're not, this isn't a Snyder movie. We're not doing reshoots. We fixed a lot of things, though. I, my projectiles are no longer arrows for some reason. And uh, Sophia's mod, uh, the Children of Caliber, actually works now. So we've, we've, we've managed to fix some things. It's mod good works, Pog. Um, and we've started off with the cracking egg and oh. violence. You said what, though, but it's your item. I know, but I didn't see it properly. <laughs> and I just I just saw this red thing off to the right, and I was like, what? Why is it over there? Oh, I love the fire lance. It's so stupid. Uh, go away, hand. Fire lance, for anyone who doesn't know, is based on what is probably believed to be one of the earliest examples of a gunpowder-powered weapon. Powder-powered weapon. It's pretty cool. It's really, really useful in the early floors of this game. Basically, it's from ancient China, because that's where gunpowder originates, and... What the fuck? <laughs> Why have I got two little faces as my only items so far? When you're confident, it's like nothing can stop you. Your own coolness lets you handle your weapon more effectively. Do you know what mod I didn't get? Simple stats. Simple stats. Dumb fuck. Every time. Every time with this shit. I know. So that might affect so, coolness, but I don't know. Oh boy. The Withering Chamber. Withering Chamber is one of mine. Basically, the more max ammo your gun has, the more damage it does. But if you get hit, the max ammo of your gun is reduced to its current ammo. That is spooky, but I love it. Yeah, I like I, the it's idea. very much risk reward. Because if you get hit, you could neuter a good gun. But. High ammo means high payoff. See, the only thing is, with li this gun, it's literally worthless. Because we're using an explosion. And the ammo doesn't matter. Uh, the, the damage doesn't matter at all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Is there any items out there in modding that increase or change the, the, the damage of explosions? Uh, I don't think it'd be that difficult to do, but nobody's done it because explosions suck. Maybe that's something we could look at in Alexandria, like an explosion yeah. damage mod. By the way, we already went through Alexandria. I tried. Um, in the last episode, the lost episode, but we haven't in this. Do you want to like re-go over what that is? Just because Turtle the, Melon, the lost know. levels. 
the last, the last episode. It was it was pulled from air after we, fair, there, we dissected a fox. There is only <laughs> there is only a few lost turtle melon episodes. There are, there is not many, but they oh, do tell exist. us about them. I'll, I'll explain Alexandria later. Tell um, me about the so last turtle melon episode. We've, we've got basically it's whenever that similar thing has happened where um, I've like realised I'm not recording. It's happened with Isaac a few times. Um, tell the hollow, tell the Hollow Knight story for the sixth time. Come on, yes, do it, do it. Do yes. It. So w one of the times um, I found. <laughs> I need to keep this. One of the times that was really funny in, in Hollow Knight, I recorded a full episode, but for some reason the audio didn't record for just my voice. I got gameplay, just not my voice. But obviously Hollow Knight is a very like, I, could, I couldn't scrap an episode because I'd made progress and it's like a story game that people want to see the progress in. So I was like, what the hell do I do here? So I decided that I'd be a bit cheeky and I just protect. Oh, did I just blow up the barrel? Or was that a water barrel? You blew up a water barrel. Okay, that's fine. Um, Since you have it, you don't need the explosive barrel either I, I because don't. you can yeah, make I explosions. Can't. That's good because it just blew up randomly. Um, I love it when that happens. <laughs> I might, by the way, I might be spawning myself some keys in to get through to this floor just because I want to show this floor off. I mean, if you get it, you might not need to spawn oh, in keys. Damn it. Just that's probably enough oil, right? No. Well, you know, I guess we're not going to this floor. No, we are, we are. Um, how do I spawn in something that's going to give me oil? Um, uh, give fossilized gun, if you can spell fossilized. I don't need to spell fossilized. Foss. There you go. Okay. Now drop it. Now drop, drop it. Drop it, you, f you hack, you <laughs> cheat, you fraud. I just want to show it off. Leave me alone. Right. Anyways, so yeah, so like, I, I was like, what the hell do I do now? And I decided, why not just do the voiceover again, but pretend it's live? And I did, and literally no one noticed. <laughs> Mirror it's like truth. one of those. It's like one of those things that people are like, oh yeah, this is my greatest secret. Except it's not a secret, because you tell everyone, because you're so proud of how sneaky you were. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Ooh, the gravity well module. I can never remember what this does. Reduces knockback from weapons and gives some damage. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, knockback down, damage up. Uh, right. What the hell's this? Uh, Mirror of it's, Truth. It's probably D tier, given the price. Yeah, it's definitely D tier. Bye. I'll oh, take it. Let's see what it is. Replaces all chests with mirrors. Ooh. Oh! Okay. Okay, well this is gonna be a very cursed run. Um, oh, oh god, I wonder if that counts like custom chests. Yeah, this is gonna be a very cursed run. Do you run. think, like, I don't know exactly how Sophia has it set up, but do you think the ammo chest can handle being a mirror? I have no Will idea. Will it have like a midlife crisis? I got hit multiple times, so I lost quite a lot of ammo on this thing. Mm-hmm. For some reason, I thought the explosions would like destroy more bullets, but the explosions on this are quite small. So they didn't. Explosions did get nerfed at one point. Yeah, they, they did. That's also the case. I remember when it's because it, it used to be that the um, what the hell was the gun? The gun called the ice gun. Glacier. Oh, the, the ice cube. Yeah, the glacier used to be like the most busted OP gun, and then it became like kind of meh. Mhm. Right. Where did I use the key? Okay, I did open this. What did I get from this chest? The gravity well. This chest is supposed to drop exclusively bullet modifiers. That is a bullet modifier. Yeah, but it's a terrible one. <laughs> it's a bullet modifier. It just it is is a bullet shaped. You remember you were going to the uh, the tree? Yes. Yep. I need to give myself so it, two keys. I'd say that counts as a bullet modifier, even though it isn't bullet shaped. Yeah. By the way, so normally you would actually have to, like, get the two keys to get here. I'm just being a cheaty cheater to show you guys the floor, because I think it's cool. And the war- Wait, no, there is a war mimic! Look! The, the war, war mimic's back! Okay, so there's always a war mimic here, which seems a little overpowered, but we'll take it. In the last time, there was also a war mimic here. Oh, yeah, that gives the yeah. Ornate pistol, I noticed so. it. I noticed it because I was like, what the fuck's in with that wall? <laughs> <laughs> and it was in almost the same place, too. It was it just was, a little bit yeah. up. So I, I looked there and I didn't see it. It's, it's just because um, it's just because Apache loves like war mimics and glitchy things. Well, I think Apache's just really proud of the fact that he managed to like insert war mimics 
into places where wall mimics did not used to be. There's a mirror and in this wall. I'd wager there's probably a room down there and the mirror spawned wonky. Um, but yeah, I think Apache's just proud of the fact that he made, uh, you know, war mimics work. And, you know, he deserves to be because it's very impressive. That's fair. He did good. Anyways, yes, Alexandria is a project that me and Notabot have been working on for a little bit. Basically, the goal is to make a proper external API for Gungeon. Uh, external in the sense that even though it's installed like a regular mod, it's separate to other mods. And other mods use it as a library, which it sounds insane that I'm phrasing this like it's a new thing, because this is pretty much a staple of every other modding community. <laughs> but Gungeon just hasn't operated that way. We haven't really used external libraries say, or Gun dependencies. Gungeon modding has been incredibly ad hoc. Yes. We have crippling, uh, you know, we have crippling issues. We don't like to depend on others. And it's caused problems. And so, a while ago I started working on Alexandria. I kind of got bogged down in some stuff and it got shelled for a while, but recently I decided let's bring it back and let's start working on it and Notabot has been fucking incredible. I just they say, have not, done Notabot's really amazing become like a work. big part of the... Oh, wait. I think that, yeah, it's a green chest. Okay, cancel open it, good. Trap so, cards. all chests are free, but you are... Do you want to get Lord of the Jam? Oh, do you think yeah. you can handle them? I can handle Big him. boy? Big boy. I might just not be able to take as many, um... As many of the bunny rooms that like trade my max HP away. Fair, fair. I'll get enough of them. Uh, yeah, to be fair, that's also true. Yeah, so it's come back and Bot has been amazing. She's done incredible work. I genuinely do not think that Alexandria would be possible without her. Like, I cannot express in words enough how much Bot has helped me on this. Nice. Uh, it's good that people are I, I have this. also been contributing. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. I didn't just like shove this at bot and be like, uh, hey, you know, hey, ch hey chuckle fuck. <laughs> uh, I actually did do stuff. And there's just been, you know, progress being made working on making things possible that weren't possible previously, or at least weren't easily possible. Yeah. For example, uh, smooth master round replacement because as it stands you can replace the master rounds on a floor or add new ones to floors that don't have them but unfortunately if you do that um and then another mod does that afterwards that mod will replace your replacement they don't work in tandem yeah, yeah, yeah. Just which is why you haven't been getting my master round upgrades so long as you have planet side on because planet side also adds master round replacements and it's replacing my replacements yeah which isn't bunny's fault there's really just no better solution and also bunny kind of needs his in because they work with his uh like master round trading mechanic that's another thing i've been think considering the ability to add string tags to objects to items, basically. For anyone unfamiliar with programming garbage, a string is just text. It's letters. Oh, you bastard. I just lost so much ammo on this thing. Rip. I like this item, though. It's cool. It's really cool. By the way, as well, just, just for in the middle of this Alexandria talk, I didn't really cover what this floor is for anyone that's new and hasn't seen it. Oh, I kind of yes. went over Sorry. it a little bit um, in the other episode. I'm going to eat a banana while you talk. I kind of went over over it in the in the lost episode, but I'll go over it again here for those of you that haven't seen this. This is a flaw from the mod, <laughs> from the mod expand the Gungeon, and basically this is a revival of a flaw that was going to be in Gungeon, but the developers never finished it. So the developers essentially only ever made the sprites, and then Apache um, of expand the Gungeon made this. He brought them to life. He did this with a few different flaws. He did, did this with the jungle, the belly of the beast, and the western floor. So there's like three entirely new flaws. And um, I did a little bit of help with the room creation. I'll, I'll, I'll just say this. 
It's nowhere near as impressive as what Apache did. What Apache has done here is incredible, especially a little this bit one. of help. You did most, of, if not all, of the rooms. I, I did. I did. I did all the rooms, but in in the grand scheme of things, it's a very minor part of the mod. Um, ev everything like he did, all, like all the visuals and everything, but I contributed the rooms and the en like the the enemy layouts. So you'll you'll notice as we go through this floor. A lot of the enemies from the RNG department are used here because that is exactly what they were meant to be used for. The RNG department is a collection of enemies that were unused for flaws they never made. So they actually do have a, like places to be like, oh, we fucking lost ammo again. Um, like the, the parrots and the chameleons you'll see on this floor are enemies that are supposed to be on this floor. They, they were added to that. By the way, where's my gun gone? There's no uh, pits in here. Butter fingers. Yeah, I know, but there's no pits. Where is it? Um, like it's not even on the ma it's not even on the map. What gun was it? Fire it lance. Was, it was a fire lance. It's entirely possible it glitched somewhere because fire lance is big and has a janky hitbox. I'm trying to pick it up now, but it's not even on the mini map. Like it doesn't even say there's a gun in here. Hmm. That's weird. I'll go back and look at the footage when this uh, comes out. We'll give ourselves fire lance yep. back. I'll look at the footage when this wait. comes out, and I'll see what happened. File? Oh, wait. I'm, I'm using Gungeon speak. I need to do give. You mean Isaac speak? Isaac speak, even. Yeah, that's what I meant. Um, yeah, you've gotten that mixed up in a few recent episodes. In yes. one Isaac video, you uh, were talking about this mug, and you said... I'm not quite sure how this works in Isaac, because unlike Isaac, Isaac has this stat, whereas Isaac doesn't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that was very funny. Oh I god, this banana is easily. so good. You could, I guess you could say, you know, uh, MILF. Man, I love fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. But yeah, so like, when when sort of designing the rooms for the for this floor specifically, this is the floor that I'm proudest of. Belly of the Beast is pretty good too. The Western, I kind of phoned it in, I'll, I'll be honest. Um, but uh, that's because I would, I was at the point where I created literally like too many rooms, like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and I was tired. Um, but anyways. Speaking of which, do you want to make rooms for once we're into the breach? <laughs> Shush. I might want the, the, the room creators better. Um, oh, yeah, we just need, like, oh, God, I'm to get people here, aren't I? Oh, like, God, this to want hard. to work on it. But I think getting people to want to work on the room creator will be better once Alexandria is done, because... Yeah. Yeah, I we... think that we need to get into a good place. Uh, what? D okay, dude. Does it remove your max ammo from every gun when you get hit, or just your equipped gun? I think so. If it's every gun, it's getting dropped. Man, you don't even want that. Like, it is a significant damage up with yeah. a significant downside. But I, 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 I really think it should be per gun that you're holding, not every gun. I will it... reconsider the design. Fine. That's that's baby <laughs> wants his bottle. That's just brutal though. Like you could have like oh, I yeah, am brutal. That can be like ten different guns that you're losing all your ammo on because you got hit once. Hurting people turns me on. It makes me let, let me just put it this way. It makes me not want to use my good guns. Which is not good design. <laughs> Ah, fire. <sighs> fire. I'll do it. It's kind of like a metronome situation where metronome's really, really good, but no one likes it because it makes you use one gun and one gun only. You know, I'm proud of you for not complaining about Butterfingers for once. Eh, I'm, I'm, I'm dealing with Butterfingers okay. When, when Butterfingers doesn't delete my gun, I'm fine with it. It's when it throws it in a pit that I that I absolutely hate it because I can't. I, I think it's ridiculous that it can do that. Anyways, but yeah. So we, when I was creating the rooms for this floor, I tried to stick with like very themed, um, like very themed enemy pools. So I've got like three different enemy types. So I've got like an animal pool, a tri a tribal pool, which is like the arrowkin and stuff. Oh my god, I'm so terrible at this game right now. I might die. Yeah. Oh, kind of your game. Oh my god. Wait, what? I didn't die. Okay. I died, but what? I dropped Little Bomber. I didn't even have Little Bomber on me. 
I think that was the egg. Okay. Well, anyways, let's restart. I did pretty I badly. I think the that egg. Happened. Did you? Were you able to move in those last nope, few seconds? I or? was not. My guess is that the egg cracked on a fatal hit, and it somehow caused an error. Yeah, that seems to be right. But yeah, I died there. Don't just ignore that. Like, I'm not sure. I'm gonna blame that on the curse, despite very few of the enemies being cursed. But there you go. Um, we'll go back to yeah, that. Yeah, just. Ooh. We got that is pot thing. shots, but friend. Uh, the item is pot shots, but that. friendly. I love that. And then we've got. And that is a an electric beam that is. I don't. I'm not really. I don't really like it. I made it, but I'm not very proud of it because I don't like the visuals and I don't like the sound effect. Well, I like it because it breaks pots easily, which means it's really good with war vars. I do like the pun in in war vars, though, even though it doesn't work in certain you know accents. What. What's the pun? It's a pun on Warface. Oh, uh, I didn't show, even... Show me your Warface. I didn't even realise that. <laughs> My brain did not pick if, up uh... on that. <laughs> oh, well, you know, we can't all be clever. Yeah, I know. I'm terrible. Oh. I was just saying to, to Nevenim before the um, before the recording started that I am, like, aching a ton right now because... Uh, oh, this is really good with all that. Um, I'm aching a ton right now because yesterday I went rock climbing and I'm not very good at it. My girlfriend goes, like, a he decent amount. He went rock and, falling. And, yeah, I, I didn't do very well. Like, there's, like, li different tiers, like, different colours of, like, difficulties of walls and green was the easiest and there was, like, ten different green walls and I managed to do two of them and that was it. <laughs> I did not do so hot. I like how you were reminded of this story by, I mean, talking about your inadequacies. Exactly. I'm very glad I can help to, like, jog your memory. That's exactly what reminded me. Uh. Anyways, yeah, I've, I was saying earlier that I've been playing a lot of RimWorld lately, and I haven't been super motivated to do stuff. Other than like play Rimworld and record See, with Turtle. Nevernamed has this problem where he thinks that if he doesn't achieve a ridiculous amount every day that he's failed. Which is yeah. just stupid. <laughs> like, he can't have a day where he doesn't do anything, which is like I I yearn for days where I don't do anything. No, I, I can have one of those days, I just won't enjoy it. Those are the best days. It's it's kind of strange that Trying to enjoy myself leads to me not being happy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hello, shield man. That I can't possibly afford. Don't get hit, five hit. <sighs> <laughs> I need armor first. Yeah, I still haven't done a, a price fix on him because I need to like lower his prices slightly and just yeah. adjust them more cleverly. Because currently they're one armor higher than they should be because... Uh, my logic at the time was, some items give armor when picked up in his shop, so it would be kind of stupid. Um, so I should make everything cost one more armor, but that also leads to the items that don't give you back armor being basically impossible to purchase. I mean, even the ones that do give you armor back are kind of impossible to purchase, because you still need the three armor to buy them. Like, it is kind of silly that you get armor back, but it's also, it is difficult, because you're not, you're not often... I need to think of a, I need to think of a more clever way to, uh to do it like find some way if possible to prevent armor being given even though there is no like one single uniform way that mods choose to give armor yeah i just got a golden junk nice by the way this thing is this this thing is really good which thing the the lightning rod thing it's like incredibly ammo efficient <laughs> it's a uh... It's from the game, uh, what's it called? Fuck, what's it called? Um, Forager. Forager, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you've played it. I, I haven't played it, but, but I've watched a lot of it. Yeah. And I don't know, I played it and I really liked the, the game and the, the lightning wand. It's cool, I like it. Uh, I do also have a problem with making my items too ammo efficient. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, are these bunny special undodgeable bullets? Yes. But we didn't even it's get a shame them. you didn't let them exist. I don't know what glass does, but I'm going to imagine it makes me very, very vulnerable. 
Is that a pane of Minecraft glass? It is. Um, I can't Go on, take it. it. Die again. <laughs> yeah, it does exactly what I thought it would do. Oh, I can't even take a look. Bunny, why aren't they just items? <laughs> just make them undroppable items. That's Come what on. I thought. <laughs> Okay, don't I wanna... have to, it doesn't have to be fancy. I, wanna like, be I get that you're read. really proud of making, I guess, I guess there's a custom pickup object, but it's just kind of an inconvenience. I just want to be able to read what it does when I pick it up. I keep having to message Bunny like, hey, what the fuck's this? And because they're not on the wiki yet either, I can't even just use the wiki. I guess this, that war mimic is kind of... Apache trying to motivate people to go to the uh, jungle over the oubliette because you get an extra item. Yeah, like, but you two can, extra items. You can go there. I, su I suppose. Yeah, I was just about to say you can go there and get it and not even go to jungle, but then you'd have to spend two keys. So, yeah, yeah, then you'd just be spending two keys for nothing. So to go there and to the oob, you'd need to do four keys, which isn't really reasonable. Yeah, it, th I actually do like the fact that there's a warm mic there. Although I would say, if it's possible, it's way too obvious right now. <laughs> It needs to be made somehow less obvious, but I don't even know if you can do that. By the way, war vase on this floor is going to be crazy because I placed bushes everywhere and they all fire. I also really shot. like how um, Curse of Darkness is interacting with this. Yeah, I do too. This looks awesome. By the way, um, as well, if for anyone that was wondering why on earth the, um, the robot's past boss is on this floor, it's because I suggested it'd be kind of cool to not only reuse a boss that's kind of underutilized or not not seen very often, but also it kind of fits kind of more similarly like a like sort of a um, Rambo-style boss, like a, a jungle warrior sort of thing, a guerrilla warfare. Yeah. I, th I thought Commander. it fit quite well. And then um, I can't remember who it was, someone else had a similar a similar idea for the Parasite boss on the uh, Belly of the Beast, which we'll hopefully see soon. Those Parasites are actually implied to have some connect- the, the, um, the interdimensional horror is actually implied in the lore to have some connection to the Gungeon anyway. Yeah. They kinda... It's like uh, Amygdala and Bloodborne, in that they're everywhere but you can't see them. Oh, yeah, 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 Like, hidden demons. And that's in the synergy with the uh, the Bloodborne weapons, where you see them and they reveal secret rooms. Yeah. That's pretty cool, yeah. yeah and it's just been interesting to me. So They're I do all... wonder if I'm stuck at 1 HP or if it just lowers you to 1 HP. The interdimensional horror is, has always been interesting to me. Yes! because it is just a reference to so many different things. It's a reference to the amygdala from Bloodborne. It's a reference to, like, Doom, because the whole of the Marines' past is a reference to Doom. And the little shit imps that they make. And it's a reference to the Nihilinth from Half-Life. Oh, of course it is, yeah. Remember the big baby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because uh, the sprites for the interdimensional horror call it Enlanth, Enlanth. Which is short for Nihilant. Yeah. What else would it be short for? Okay, I, I get that now, yeah. I've not really thought of that before, but after playing it with you, I now understand. I, it's, it's good that I played Half-Life, because we're going to understand so many more references. <laughs> Big baby. Big Mr. baby. Mr. Freeman. Oh, God, I, I love this weapon. It's, it's, it's way too good, but I love it. Yeah, I have a bad habit of giving guns way too much ammo. This gun and has, like, three times that. the amount of ammo that it should. I like the sound effect for it, too. Sound effect's cool. Mr. Freeman. Cock and ball there. torture from <laughs> no. Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia. Stop. www. <laughs> you must stop. Wikipedia.org. <laughs> oh, God. God. Gmail is cool. Yeah, man, it's cool. It's a cool dude. Anyways, I was gonna say earlier when you were saying that Apache could make the war mix more hidden, it'd be really cool if he uh, got like a properly resprited war mimic that was just a shrub. Ooh, yeah. Like it's a big bush with a mouth instead of it just looking like war. Hey, I got the snake gun. Have you ever had this guy before? I have. He's good. 
Yeah, I'm really proud of it. I will use that it on the It was hard boss. to get working. Because obviously it's not a burst fire gun, it's technically semi-automatic, but it yeah. also fires multiple projectiles at once, which... Surprisingly <sighs> isn't as easy as you'd think. I mean, firing multiple projectiles at once is easy. Firing multiple projectiles on a short delay without it being a burst fire is hard. It's, so it's essentially a shotgun, but with a predefined pattern. Except it's made completely different to every other shotgun. <laughs> but why? Do you not just make it like because a shotgun you, with a good, with like a predefined you pattern? Can't, Does that not work? You you can't put like a time delay on when bullets come out of a shotgun. Ah, uh, true. I suppose they're all going to come out in one one lump. Yeah. Initially, the gun was burst fire, but I had to change that because if you moved the gun barrel while it was firing, it would break oh, the pattern, yeah, yeah. and it just... I just didn't like the way that looked, and I no, was like, what well, time has been that. six hours? Modding is... is a chore, but... But hey, oh, I made progress I, I, I might die something. again? Yeah, what's up with you today? I don't know. I just want to find the fucking shop so I can buy... Okay, it's a darkness, you dick! I just wanted to find the shop. I had golden junk and I was like desperately looking for the shop to just buy what a piece of armor. Couldn't find you it. You are I'm off your game, my dude. I, I told you I didn't want to take the fucking glass thing. I, I can't even tell what it did. Did it give me extra damage? Because I didn't feel like it did. <laughs> I like you're putting this on me when I, all I said was, is it a pain of Minecraft glass? And you took that as, take it, take it no, now. No, you literally said, take it. <laughs> Oh, did I? I forget. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, my sometimes was, I'm so good at giving bad advice, it just slips out subconsciously. I was hesitant because I was I have almost, cookies. You want some? I would love cookies because I'm depressed right now. Anyways, right. I hope uh, you guys are enjoying this episode where I showcase all of the push. expand the gungeon flaws. Because so far, all Wait. I've done is shown one oh, twice. fuck. I am unfurling my legs. I was sitting cross-legged. Ah, uh, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is a weird loadout. Makes your blanks weaker, but gives you more of them. Um, what's this doing? The again? lodger. It. The lodger gains damage from every quote unquote bad item you have, and okay, it doesn't just. It doesn't just count D tier. It. I handcrafted a list of all the items I don't like, so it's a very opinionated gun. That's fair. Well, to be fair, considering we've got two war mimics coming up if we go to the um, alt path again, they're both likely to be D tier. So we've got a higher yeah, so, chance of getting bad weapons. So something like uh, lead skin isn't going to increase its damage because lead skin is amazing, but something like escape rope yeah. or so even stuff in higher tiers that just isn't very good. Uh, and also, I believe junk increases e yeah, it by a small amount. Ah, so we, we already got one junk, that's good. Yeah. Also, if you have the busted TV, it gains a huge damage up, but that's obviously just a, like a <laughs> joke. His that's busted television cool. is, is by design the worst uh, gun in the game. The uh, worst item in the game. I was say gun. It is kind of the worst gun in the game by the fact that it's not a gun at all. I mean, tech, um, it's actually in the lore, of Enter the Gungeon, all items are just guns in a transmuted state. Mm. That's actually the truth. Okay, point Dexter. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I get it. I find you don't care. You don't care about law significance. I actually do have cookies, by the way, so I'm gonna open them. Oh, you bastard! I oh, don't. these cookies. See, I bought these, like, yesterday, and I forgot I had them, and then I was just, like, setting up and trying to find my mic, and I grabbed my mic, and it brushes against my purse. Your purse? Um, my handbag. And there's, a, like, a crinkling sound from inside, and I'm like, oh shit, the cookies! You have a purse? I have a wallet that I keep in my handbag. Fair. I would have a purse, except I really don't care enough to buy one when I have a wallet that works. I got this, like, really cheap $2 wallet when I was, like, 10 years old. And it's... it just... it hasn't ever, like, failed or torn or ripped or anything, and it, nothing's really 
happened to it. I, I've, I've so had I'm my still just a using it. Ridiculous amount of time as well. I yeah, like I've had necessary it. unless you're carrying a lot of things. I get a lot of money because we're we're filthy rich. But yeah, I, I have a wallet and I do have a handbag and people have told me that I should do something like call it a man bag, but I really don't care enough. I mean, like, yeah, I guess it really doesn't, it really doesn't make any difference. It's like, yes, I'm, I'm clearly so masculine that I need to call my handbag a man bag instead of what it is. That makes you a lot less masculine. <laughs> Yeah. It's like I was saying this about one of my friends, uh, some someone that I know recently, how, like, they try so hard to be cool that they come off not cool at all. Whereas someone we know that is cool is so nonchalant about being cool that it makes him cooler. Cookies. You're, you're a bastard. I want cookies. But I can't. I actually like... am, you know. My parents aren't married. Bastard, man. Mm-hmm. Let's try the lodger. It's actually not doing bad damage. Considering the amount of ammo I think ammo the lodger... Has, it's pretty good. It does consume more than one ammo per shot. Oh, it does. To compensate shit, yeah. for it... To compensate for its high ammo count. Why don't, why don't just give it a lower ammo count? Because <laughs> the ammo count is a reference. Oh, it's running through a book, isn't it? The year that it came out. Yeah. I remember now. Um, it's a book called uh, The Little Roundhouse that I read as a kid and really st sort of stuck with me. Um, yeah, the Lodger, I think it's a little better than a starter pistol by default and it just gets better the more bad shit you have. Yeah, it seems decent enough. Hopefully this time I can get a little bit further than the second floor. Lodger is actually one of the first guns I ever made, and I had to like go back and remake it because it was really poorly coded. <laughs> to be fair, it's a pretty ambitious idea for your first ever gun. Not my first ever, but one of the first, you know? For a minute there I forgot my blanks are worse and it kind of tripped me up a bit. I was like, why didn't it blank? Yeah, so... I believe you. it gives you multiple more blanks per floor, and I believe it, in, it it increases the amount of blanks you get per blank pickup. What the fuck? Do you want Unbreakable Spirit, Unbreakable Spirit, or Unbreakable Spirit? The illusion of choice. Yeah, I don't want any of those. <laughs> Note with a face. Me and the boys. What's this? This looks like it's going to be a one-use item. Someone's a temporary group of bullet kin to aid you in battle. Me and the boys. These cookies are so bad, but that makes them so good. Oh, do you know, I, I completely agree with you. When you get, like, really cheap sweets or something, they're, they're definitely bad, but it does make them good. Like, I can feel my DNA, like, decohering as I eat these, <laughs> and it just makes it better. It's like, in the UK, there's a, there's a, th uh, like, a biscuit thing. I wouldn't call it biscuits. It's more of a cake called Jaffa Cakes. Me, uh, P -P There's, there's a, um, a discussion on whether it's a biscuit or a cake. But anyways. I think um, we, we have those here, too, yeah. Yeah, I mean, there's some places, I know America doesn't, but yeah. Um, and there's these cheaper brand, like, off-brand Jaffa Cakes called Euro Shopper Cake, like, Jaffa Cakes. And they are so much better than the actual original ones. Like, so much better. I don't really like Jaffa Cakes because they're too oh, sweet for them. me. I love them. They're amazing. Like, I've actually found that as I get older, I've... Like, as a kid, I used to be all over sweet stuff. But now as I've, I've, I'm an adult, I just... I don't like it as much. And I don't know why. That's fair. I, I, still, I still love sweet stuff. I, st I like sweet stuff, but, like, overly sweet stuff doesn't really appeal to me. Like, if you think of your, like, typical feels like your teeth are gonna rot out after eating a few kind of really sweet, yeah. I can't eat those. 
I, to be fair, I don't eat things like that anymore, really, either. I don't eat anything like I, that's ridiculous. I prefer things that are like have a have enough sweetness to them, but don't go too far. Which is actually why my favorite like type of chocolate is cooking chocolate. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like cooking chocolate. Cooking chocolate's quite nice because it's like less sugar in it, isn't it? Because you, you it, went... there's there's oh. like it's just like local supermarkets, home brand oh. cooking oh. chocolate, <laughs> and I love it because the, the the normal brands are just so sweet that they like make me feel sick. What by the way, what's the what's the normal brand in New Zealand? Is it Hershey's or is it um is it Cadbury's? Uh there's Cadbury's and Whitaker's are the two big ones. Okay, good. As long as it's not Hershey's, because Hershey's is a bag of dog shit. We still have Hershey's, but they're not like super dominant. Like I, I genuinely don't understand how any American likes Hershey's. It's horrible. It's it's just disgusting. It barely tastes like chocolate. I, I I understand that obviously like if you don't have Cadbury's, it's completely different. You're brought up on it. But as soon as you try there's Cadbury's, also, it must be like Lindor. Well, Lind Lindor's good. But but that... Lindor's a posh brand. Yeah, Lindor's still a posh brand, but well, you know you get Lindor sometimes, and it's nice. Yeah. And all their advertisements are like high society parties that make you <laughs> yeah. feel like, buy our product and you'll be fancy and rich. Um, Lindor is like the, the, the Christmas present chocolate. The Roquefort's are celebrated for their Roquefort cheese. The Rothschilds are famous for their wines. Hershey's have their chocolates and Lipton's have their teas. When it comes to making monsters, you can't beat the Frankensteins. What? Uh, what so song is that? that? That is make yourself a. I think it's no. It's jo it's called Join the Family Business, and it's from a musical called Young Frankenstein. Oh god, that is that that song was gross. <laughs> I actually really like it, and <laughs> the only reason I know about it is because it was performed live at my local theater, and my brother was was in it, so I was obligated to go see it. <laughs> and um, it was kind of weird and raunchy. Raunchy? Oh god. Yeah, like um, yeah, the titular Young Frankenstein is like did the this child. Sorry, but did this bullet kid just do contact damage to me? The one that I spawned in? I think they were supposed to despawn, but they just didn't. Yeah, I think he's bugged. Um. And, yeah, so, the titular young Frankenstein, uh, who in the play was played by somebody who uh, bullied me in high school, so... Lovely. That was great. Um, <laughs> but, he, he, like, inherits this creepy ancient manner and he gets told by the ghosts of Frankenstein's past that he has to make a monster because it's the family business. And to this day, I don't like any of the other songs in it. I just like Join the Family Business. I'm not sure if I like that one. <laughs> to be fair, though, I'm not a musical Join person. The family I don't really like musical music like that. Learn the family trade. Make yourself a monster. Make the world afraid. I like it. It's, yeah, it's I've, I've just I've just never been a musical person. Oh, neither, neither. Oh no, that's not true. I like I like musicals if it's music that I like. I don't like musicals for the sake of them being musical. If it's if it's good songs that I could listen to, outside of it being a musical, I could also listen to them together. You know what I mean? Yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah. By the way, my my items right now are absolute shit tier. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, it's okay. This is the I mean, worst the run out of the three, and I'm doing the best out of the three runs. <laughs> you, you, see, you said you wanted a challenge. So, so would you believe that Turtle was telling me he thinks the game needs to be made harder? I, I do, to be fair. I do. I, I've just been playing bad. That's my fault. Like, it's nothing Okay, Mr. Thing. Dies on second floor. That's unrelated. That's hearsay. The game's difficulty is unrelated to how hard the game is. That's hearsay. It's conjecture. Yeah. Um, 
You have dominated the Iron Cross. <laughs> um, but yeah, to this day, I still know a lot of the lyrics from Join the Family Business. Oh my god. My guns are so terrible! <laughs> Why do I keep gaining blanks? What are your items? What's that thing that you have? That thing, that thing, the, the thing? The Tesla pack, the volatile Tesla pack. It just oh. zaps enemies that I'm near. But like, I have, I, I've only picked up one blank. It, 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 I, I th like, I thought it only gave you two, but it looks like it gave me three. I might have given you for three, yeah, because I think, like, I, th I think at the time I figured that the effect was basically cutting your blanks by two-thirds. Like, it cuts the effectiveness of your blanks by two-thirds, so it gives you three times as many. I think was the, the logic. You know yeah, what I mean? Fair, fair. Oh my god, I'm get like, I'm getting hit so much, what's wrong with me? <laughs> it's because my weapons are absolute dog shit. Like, I've got no ammo for the, the only good weapon I have. And then I spawn in these dudes and they still Dude, deal contact damage to me. It's the, like, my man, it's the, it's the second floor. You should still be able to use your starter pistol. This floor is significantly harder than going to the normal second floor, though, to be fair. You made the rooms. I did, but I made them hard on purpose. Well, looky low, eh? Looky who decides to... Look how the crumble cookies. Speaking of cookies, actually. <laughs> I also made a point on this floor to make sure there isn't a single blob. You may have just seen one in that previous room, but that's because a champion spawned one. There, Blythe, although, there's there a blob. Is, there is one single room that has a blob in it, and there's a, uh, there's a sign in the room that just says, like, how did I get here? Oh, wait, what the fuck? There's green blobs. Excuse me? Wait a minute. Why are they here? Okay, I lied. Why is the green blobs in this room? <laughs> Talking about how there's no blobs on this floor while he's Literally killing blobs. Literally gets blobs in the same room. I'm gonna buy health because I'm like not feeling good about myself. <laughs> oh god, these cookies! I don't know what they're made out of. Like, could be made out of like human parts for like yeah. Human parts? Did you say? Oh, human parts. Human parts. At first, I thought I don't, I don't human like, parts. I don't like human. Oh, do you know, do you want to hear something really gross? So... Do it. Go on, scare me for life. <laughs> Tell me about the jar. My, my girlfriend was working um, somewhere. She's a camera operator, so she's doing a job. And one of the people there, they were talking about food. And so she said she'd brought cumin cookies. For one, that's already kind of gross. But guess what she called them? She didn't call them cumin cookies. Cumin she called cookies. them cumin cookies. There's cumin in them. No. Just no. <laughs> it's like there's just there's just a bit of cumin in them. No, no, no. Stop. Sounds Stop right like a good time. <laughs> <laughs> um. Oh, speaking of bad cooking, um, have you ever, when you were a kid, decided to like play chef in the kitchen? Yeah. And made some awful monstrosity. Yeah. <laughs> when I was a kid, I, my mother had recently shown me how to make my own ice blocks. We had this tray, and she had showed me, you take these reusable plastic sticks, you, you fill the tray with juice or something, because I, I knew how to like put together some juice, and she showed me, you, you put the juice in the tray, you put the stick in, and then you freeze it, and then later you can have your own ice block. And she just was like, if you ever want to make these, you know how. Which yeah. is very nice looking back. But as a kid, I decided, well, this means I should get experimental. Oh, gosh. This is like an invitation. So I put, right, water, milk. Oh, no. I think thyme and oregano. And I Ooh. think something else that I don't remember. And I mixed it up, and I crunched it all together, <laughs> and I froze it, and then I took it out, and it was, it was this 
milky white thing that was transparent in some places, and it had, like, um, little flecks of various plant bits in it. Because, Lovely. obviously, there's a war mimic, mimic in this room, right? There was last time. There isn't this time. Behind the elevator, maybe? It, it must be maybe behind it was... the elevator, yeah. Maybe oh, it was just random last time. Maybe. It seems weird, though. Yeah, you're probably right. Um, anyways. So, yeah, and there was just these bits of random plant matter, because, of course, if you don't cook with stuff like oregano, <laughs> it's just, like, plant Leaps. death. It's just dry leaves. I may as well go out and chew pine needles. And I tried it. Oh, you ate it? Oh, no. I didn't eat all of it. I ate, like, <laughs> a small part of it. And I was viscerally disgusted. And I want to know, have you ever done anything like that? So, I haven't done anything quite like that. But I did do something that's equally as gross. I didn't actually eat any of it, though. But for some reason, I, and I think a lot of kids have done this, I just made, like, this horrible pool of, like various things from the garden like there was like bugs in it there was dirt there was all sorts of crap but it was just like this big sort of vat of random shit um and i just kind of left it in the garden sealed up for for, for literally like years because i didn't tell my parents where it was i like hid it behind something and like after like a good few months like there was thing there was like bacteria that you could see crawling around in it <laughs> I don't think you'd be able to see bacteria. It, my it wasn't bacteria. It wasn't like bacteria. You fattened them up. You fattened them up, nice. It like it, like you could see like little creatures and stuff that had like thrived within this little environment that I'd made. Zooplankton. I, I remember. I remember. Eventually, I um I relocated it and then forgot about it for a very long time. So it was. I, I like. I poured some of it into a jar and I remember the smell of it being horrible. Uh, but I poured some of it into a jar. And then I took that jar, and our bathtub had, like, a plastic panel on the front um, that you could, like, peel back for some reason. Um, I think it was just, like, the panel had broken, and you wasn't supposed to be able to, like, peel it back. But I knew this, and so I took this jar, peeled back the bath panel, and put it underneath the bath, and then literally forgot about it for years and then I, found, therapy. then I found it again well you couldn't smell it or anything luckily but then I found it again when I was like are you get out the door I found for it again when I was the like secret um, rooms are, are like already cracked oh it's uh something to do with some somebody I guarantee there's a somebody thing in this room yep uh um anyways, see, anyways, I'll, I'll, come, I'll come back to that guy yeah and so I forgot about it I just just forgot it was there. And I found it again when I was like 14. And I did that when I was like six. <laughs> and I was like, what the hell's this? And yeah, it was uh, Tasty. quite disgusting. You should go, you should go rat. Oh, actually, if, do you want to go to the Old West? Because like... Yeah, I'll need to go to the rat if I do Old West. Don't did you I... need the, like, the key to go to have the I... Old West from the Hollow? Have I not got the, have I not got the, the crest from the last floor, the armor? Or did I get hit? No, look, it's it's in your items list. Oh, okay, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, you can't visually display custom health on the HUD without a lot of work, and Apache just decided it wasn't worth it, which I completely agree with. That's fair. Oh, dude, you've buggered yourself. Have I? If you don't break those, if you don't break those green blocks by bouncing off of them, you're not going to be able to get the two up there. True, true. So you need to like, ideally, you need to get the first two targets with a ricochet off of those green blocks and then go for the um damn it then go for the second two it's okay we're good we're good i love the clown um, shotguns uh projectiles oh did you know that eight barreled shotguns actually exist i i in america anything's possible so yeah i don't know if it was in america it was a while ago but there was this thing called the pepper box shotgun and if you don't know a pepper box shotgun a pepper box gun is a type of weapon where there isn't really a barrel the whole thing is one elongated cylinder <laughs> so in in typical revolvers you can give honestly, yourself that one back i don't think anyone will honestly care. 
Sophia, fuck you. <laughs> what? Why? So in typical revolvers, right, you have the barrel and then you rotate the chamber so that the, the, you rotate the cylinder so that the chamber in the cylinder lines up with the barrel. However, and, and it also lines up with the firing pin. Yeah. However, they skipped the barrel thing by just extending the cylinder so that each chamber has its own barrel. <laughs> and so you just rotate the whole thing to line up with the firing pin and then shoot again. And they were hilariously impractical, so they didn't see widespread use. But Yeah, it sounds it. There were prototypes made for an eight-barreled pepper box shotgun. We've got another secret room here that's already revealed. But this one wasn't and a somebody I, one. I just love the idea of, like, you have this big shotgun looking like a minigun or something, and... You fire it and then you just ba chunk <laughs> round to the next barrel and shoot it again. And that, that's so funny to me. <laughs> I do like that. War pin. Show us your war face. Your body is covered in various red pins. Your victims will get the picture soon enough. Okay, so nothing that actually explains what the item does. Cool. Yeah. <laughs> um. So, on the topic of mysterious jars, when I was a kid, I liked to put things in jars. And our, my house has the shed, more accurately. It's technically a garage, but, um, oh, it's just fear shot. Okay. Um, <laughs> it's technically supposed to be a storage space for cars, but I have my father, um, he's just, like, a a averse to cleaning it. So it's just full of random nonsense. Can you even jump that gap? I don't that think That looks so. like a really big yeah, gap. Yeah, I don't think so. Try it out. Just make sure. Because if you can't, then it's worth reporting. Um. And there is was actually an upstairs area to this garage that when we first, you know, got the house, we didn't know it was there. And for years, actually, afterwards, none of us knew that there was anything up there until you know with a ladder my dad went up and was like hey there's something up here <laughs> it's just this loft above the shed that was not there for the longest time until my uh my dad installed a um his own set of stairs he made his own stairs leading yeah. up there and they're like really secure because he's a carpenter he works on building houses so he knows how to build stairs. That's a lot of like high tier stuff to for that fair, boss fight. The chests aren't meant to both be red. <laughs> I just got lucky. But yeah, I did get quite a lot of ammo out of that. So this loft, because it's high up and because the sun hits it directly for most of the day, it gets very hot during the summer and very cold at night mm. because it has no insulation. There's just the roof overhead and your own misery, I guess. And when I was a kid, this was sort of my place. I thought it was a cool spot that I would spend time in. And my family used it sort of as storage. I tried to build a little room up there. And you know about this because I've actually recorded with you yeah, from yeah. that yes. place previously because it's away from everything and I won't wake anyone up. But the thing with it is, remember I said it gets swelteringly hot? Yeah. It's not the ideal habitat for bugs that have been put in jars by a curious child. <laughs> oh, really? The sack of pickups was crap. It's really annoying that the sack of pickups, like, can throw stuff over the shop counter. Yeah, that was... <laughs> I can't even pick um, up this last monster. There you go, I got it. Anyways, um... So, I would keep interesting bugs and put them in jars 
because I was a, a morbid little fucker. And I, uh, for the majority of them, I did not feed them. I just put them in jars and then left them on a shelf was and forgot about them. Was it a jar them. with holes in them at all? Or was it just a no. sealed jar? A sealed jar. This gun, when you're aiming it, it stops time. It does, like, no damage, though. It's supposed to do a decent amount of damage. I guess it's just the boss. Eh, it doesn't really care about it. Especially since you're not really firing it as fast as it can fire, because you don't need to aim it at all. You don't need to, like, charge it. You can just tap it. Oh, that's fair. Yeah, it's more, it's more geared for, is this, uh... Is this, a gear, is this a gun that you made? Yes. Oh. It's more geared for, um, combat. I'm surprised. This, rather than the sprite right. really doesn't look like yours. I don't know what it is about it. I mean, it's not... It's based on... It's a reference to something, of course. It's a reference to Heat Signature, if you remember that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where in Heat Signature, when you're aiming your gun, time stops to let you aim properly, for anyone who doesn't know. And so I figured that when adding... <laughs> That's such a humiliating way to die. Um... <laughs> I can't remember what Do you have anything? does. Uh, well, you know, now's the perfect time to find out. I don't think I have anything explosive right now. Yeah, let's just take greed. Greed is good as the uh, I'm guessing tagline it means of Tainted either, Keeper. Either having more money is going to increase our damage, or we're going to get like shop discounts, or buying stuff gives us something. Well, been... greed is good. Greed is good as the tagline of Tainted Keeper, and Bunny does play Isaac, I think. Yeah, plays he does, Isaac. yeah, he does. So, maybe this is gonna be like a Tainted Keeper-esque mechanic. Maybe, yeah. It'd be nice if the, uh, if the game had some sort of in-game way of seeing what items do. It'd be, it'd be cool if it was, that's like, some sort, some sort of book. That's, that's meant to be the Amanomicon, yeah. <laughs> Um, anyways, yeah, so I would put these bugs in jars, and they would just swelter. They would... They would die, and then they would... Sweat. You cruel fucker. All of their juices would evaporate out of them onto the sides of the jar, which is sort of how I learned how much moisture is inside a spider. <laughs> <laughs> and... They would rot, and I would just keep them on the shelf because I'm like, well, I don't know, I don't know what to do with them. I don't know how. To, well, what, what are you supposed to do with a jar full of rotting bugs? Throw it. True, true. Use but the worst weapon. jar I had did not actually contain any animal parts at all. It was a mushroom. Oh. And it turned to soup inside oh, of that jar. It was so unbelievably toxic. You could smell it through the lid. It was awful. Oh, God. Eventually, one day, my mother found my prized mushroom and threw it out. <laughs> yeah, um, I think anyone would, with any sanity would just throw that out immediately. Um, I, yeah, I forgot that uh, the... That gun, your active item, is technically an Elder Blank if you have armor. It's very good, yeah. Also, Rocket Man is very good, too. <laughs> yeah, so, uh... Just as we were talking about the dumb stuff we did as kids that came to mind... Oh! I gotta say, I think... Put, I think... Uh, off in jars. Yeah, I gotta say, I think all kids did that at some point, right? Like, I remember there was a, there used to be like a big field behind my house. There's now a hospital there, but there used to be a, a big. Um, now you just have to put sick people in jars. Yeah, there used to be a big field behind my house, and I would, I would like go around and like collect spiders because like kids are weird. Like, I don't know why anyone would want to do that, but for some reason, as a child, I did. Um. So yeah, I just had this like big old jar with like. And this one did have holes in it. They could live. And they did for a long time, actually. And it had, like, a, it was like a ja like a fairly big, like, mason jar sort of thing. With, like, 30 spiders in it. <laughs> and I think I, I did, like, yes. attempt to feed them. 
I um I once tried to keep spiders alive, but I was really young. And so I put the spider in a jar, I put holes in the thing, and the spider's obviously freaking out, like, what's going on? <laughs> and I'm like, don't worry, you're in safe hands, as I unscrew the jar lid, and I reach inside, and I place a little bit of lettuce in front of the spider. <laughs> Eat up, buddy! <laughs> the spider's just sort of looking at it, like, what the fuck do I do with this? He died, and I couldn't figure out why. For a while. <laughs> oh, I was, um, I was talking to... Um, my 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 old roommate. She came over the other day, and uh, and Katie about like when we used to have pets as a kid, and she, our old roommate was telling us that she had a few hamsters, and I don't know how much you know about hamsters, but they're pretty brutal motherfuckers. Like they will eat their young and stuff like that. Like they they, they do some they some do some pretty horrific shit. If you put like they're the also wrong hilariously breeds, fragile. Yeah, they are. The, which 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 is gonna lead to the thing that I'm about to say. Um. But, um, like, if you put, like, the wrong breed in, in a cage here, they'll just maul each other to death and stuff. But anyways, so, one of her hamsters died, and it turns out the way that it died is the other hamster pinned it down to have sex with it and broke its spine. Like, you know, sometimes you just want to go out a certain way. What was that synergy with with Ken and Um, it was with uh, something. I'll check. Also, I'm just realizing you forgot to go to the belly. Yeah, I did. I always forget. It's easy. We're, we're, we're too far gone on this episode, anyways. Let's just let's just do it another episode. This episode's yeah, fair, already fair. 20 minutes longer than it should be. Ooh. Right. Right. So, Ken Amulet, when you use a blanket, spawns a friendly for the room, and it synergizes really well with the uh, uh, ivory amulet because you just get more blanks, and it, yeah. even though it, it numbs the effect of the blanks themselves, you, you it doesn't numb effects. amulets. Yeah. Yeah. So if you use a blank right now... By the way... You got a friendly shotgun. Rocket Man plus, um, plus this shotgun. Plus the, the bullet boots. Very good combination. Yeah, and shotgun club means it has a chance to spawn a shotgun instead of a bullet can. And it did that time, yeah. It's cool. I like it. Also, if you noticed, I added a special overhead visual effect to friendly I saw enemies. That, yeah. I really like that. Yeah, Unlike we'll someone, some more Sophia... I mean, I'm not with Sophia's stuff, <laughs> it's it's very obvious that it's supposed to be friendly. It's just like not sometimes. So yeah, blank spawn friendlies. In fact, probably friendly better friendly. Off this gun here. Wait, no, th can this gun fire rockets? It doesn't look like it can. Uh, any uh, gun can fire it's rockets, just, it's got but a it's high ammo count. Yeah, yeah. So it, it it's a um, chance. it's no, it's normalized over fire rate. Yeah. So this thing has a lot of pellets per shot and a low fire rate. So it's like the perfect gun. Each time you use your active, I keep on thinking you've taken damage. <laughs> it is easy to fall for. But yeah, that mushroom jar was probably poisonous. Oh yeah, de m most definitely. I sort of terrorized a lot of uh, the insects in my uh, in my yard. I, I, I gotta say, kid. like, I definitely did some terrorizing as a child. Uh, there's, there's a few things that I did that were fairly, fairly brutal. M the main one being that um, I used to get a lot of moths in my room. Um, and I really hated moths because for some reason it wasn't just like oh hey it's a moth it's just gonna do its own thing no they would like they would like dive at you um, they would like kind of attack you um, like especially when you were sleeping because I used to like keep my window open when it was hot um, and they'd come in and they'd just like fly at your face so they really pissed your me nose off. is nice and warm and moist and they want to lay eggs inside it so what i'd do is i'd just put them in a glass like uh, put get a piece of paper put it in a glass and then just spray a, a deodorant into the glass i think there's more effective aerosolized sprays to use to kill insects uh, yeah i didn't have any uh, but like 
like, you couldn't really spray them out of the air. So I just, like, capture them in a glass and then spray it inside the glass. And it's like, that'd kill them. Pretty brutal way to die, but moths are annoying, so who cares? Oh, yeah, I typically, like, I don't really show any mercy. I, like, I like spiders. I won't, like, do anything to a spider unless it's a dangerous spider. Or it's, like, decided to crawl on me. But typically, yeah. I, I leave them be. But I cockroaches like are another story. Me. We don't get cockroaches here, really, or at least not commonly. Like, I'm not saying they don't. Yeah, exist no, even in the UK. even you cockroaches don't, don't want to eat the British food. Yeah. I, I like. I've never seen a cockroach live in my life. Never seen. Them. That that's astounding to me because every single person like I. Like cockroaches vary all over the world. Like. In Africa, they're these massive monstrosities. In America, you get a lot more, but they're tinier. Over here, they're kind of mid middling between. They're like these little. They're like uh, what's a good comparison? They're like the size of a coin. <laughs> they're they're about that here as well. Okay, I have to say, just just after my first swing of this, this weapon's really janky. Are you okay? That sounded like that. <laughs> I was sneezing. My family has big cartoon sneezes. <laughs> Do you also realize Discord does have a pause function? Like a, a mute function even, not pause. I know, but I wanted you to hear it and the know my pain. This? Uh, Primos 1, the first shot in every room is massively powerful. Ooh, hello. So, a massively powerful for the gun, I mean. Yeah. It's a, an automatic thing, so you just like... Ah! Um, <laughs> oh, sneaky. Uh, I completely lost track of what I was going to say. Um, You're just talking about torturing animals. Oh yeah. So, do you know what burning spider smells like? No. <laughs> See, I like spiders these days, but that wasn't always the case. And I guess I was kind of like a uh, jigsaw. <laughs> You're a jigsaw, but for bugs. Mm-hmm. Lovely. And I guess people could diagnose me with a lot of things. I guess some people, like, you could probably say that I was going to be a serial killer based on that, and you may have been right. I don't know. Uh, I feel like I feel like if you ste step up to small animals, as in, like, bunnies and, like, cats, then it's serial killer level. But when it's bugs, it's just like, that's just childhood cur curiosity, I think. Like, yeah, it yeah. is a bit, it is a bit, like morbid but at the same time i feel like a lot of children do shit like that like they don't lot. even have bones they're not they don't count they're not real um so you should go to beyond to make up for missing the belly yeah i will i will uh i uh so, you know those electric fly swatters? Yeah. When I was a kid, I had one of those and was like, I bet this would work on more than flies. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, yeah, I think you've told me about this before. This this, this story seems, sim like, seems familiar. So, I went out into the garden and began just looking for prey. <laughs> I do remember my friend had one of those, and we, we ended up setting a small tree on fire with it. You killed plenty of bugs then. You know me bugs Aww. perished? <laughs> it's this thing again. I'll take it. At least it's not inherently cursed. Yeah. Um. So I found this big, plump, thick-ass spider, right? Ow. Like, this spider was... was 
thick as fuck. It had no business having that much cake. <laughs> and I don't know whether it was like a jealousy or just uh, <laughs> pure chaos, but my immediate thought was get on the fly spot. Kill that thing. And I zapped that fucker. I zapped that fucker so much it lit on fire. That was the day I learned that burning spiders don't smell very good. <laughs> but burning Take the chamber, anything. also beyond. I, yeah, I know. I don't really want the chamber, I'll be honest. We'll sell it. Okay, I can sell it. Yeah, it's like every every sick three load or seven three load takes like fourteen years, and it's like meh. I can't really. Be but everything, oh, I can't everything in. I can't drop it, so that's good. It's like you get like six times magazine size in exchange for a longer reload when it eventually ends. Yeah, but it's like that sounds like a fair trade to me. The reload's so long though. Yeah, but you get to fire so much. Let's with this table. Yeah, don't ignore the table. Pay no attention it's to the It's glitching the out. Let's go to uh, the you know, we've been reminiscing. We've been reminiscing about the old days, about how fucked up we were. <laughs> Incredibly. What did Beyond you do that as a kid tree. that would make that would make people think you were a serial killer? Probably the, that's an pro act. Probably putting the moths in cups and filling them through full of deodorant. <laughs> the fury is an active item, I think. I'll I don't know about, about the, the battery. battery. I'll save the battery in the rounds. These bullets were forged to the depths of the beyond. The original function is unknown, um, but they're relatively violent bullets uh, from the gungeon. They rip to rip into when making contact with any living thing. Interesting. Um, strange power source sometimes lets out strong bursts of energy. While there's no documented case of injury as a result of said discharge, it does seem that can uh, they can negate the need to recharge some objects found within the gungeon. Does that mean I get an so, item charge upon being hit? I don't know, maybe. You'll, s like you'll see, in. won't you? Sounds like something along those lines. I'm so glad that um, they decided to... Bunny decided... Not Bunny, um, not a bot decided to yes, zoom out. This, famous uh, developer of uh, Enter the Beyond, some Bunny, decided to zoom He's out. He's really been so busy better. these days. Making all these mods. You know, it's really impressive how Bunny also made Expand the Gungeon and Once More Under the Breach. He's really talented. Why'd I jump right into that? Why? Yeah, I don't know why. Why? What's with this little beep? It's when the bullets come out. Sounds really off. Doesn't sound right. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds like the macaroni and cheese is ready in the microwave. <laughs> yeah. We need to take it out. I think that's exactly what I thought. It sounds like a microwave. Oh, I think this is actually an unused attack that is being repurposed here. I don't remember, but I remember someone else saying that it was an unused attack of the cannon balrog, maybe? Maybe that was just, like, misinformation. I don't know. Gum gun. Hound shotgun. Come back to me. Um, <sighs> not a bot should work with uh, work with Apache to make better uh, elevators. Don't you mean that, that somebody should work with Apache to make yeah, better I elevators? Do, I, do. I just like saying somebody because I can blame him for everything. Somebody once <laughs> told me <laughs> the world was gonna roll me. It's the sharpest tool in the shed. We can't sing the whole song. We'll get DMC it. She was looking no. kind No! <laughs> oh my god, stop getting hit, you flaming, flaming special boy. Oh, you're very special. We all agree. Oh my god! <laughs> the clown shotgun has fallen off quite significantly, is what I'm noticing. No shit. I just remember that one run I had where it was amazing. Dude, fuck you, you stupid fucking What you ball, really need... What you need right now is aimbot. I do. That active item that gives you 100% accuracy. 
No active, uh, passive item. Okay, I'm gonna die Brain again. fried. I keep forgetting about the stupid reload thing, and it's fucking me up. Because I'm like, why aren't I shooting? And it takes me a good second to realize. You're also not fully exhausting the clip before you reload sometimes. Yeah, I do that quite a lot. Executioner Shrine, come on. Oh. Oh. Did you mean to do it on that gun? Yep. Okay, just making sure because, I don't know, that probably wouldn't have been my pick, I'll be honest. It's a high power gun. I think it could be quite good. If it fires. If it fires, yeah. I'd be like, Do they nice. fire and reload? Nope, it just doesn't fire. Well, that gun doesn't reload, I don't think. The one you're holding. Okay, so that was that was pointless. Oh no, it does. Re they do. It just fired then. Oh, there you go. These yeah. guns it's fire it's and reload. Now. It's firing now. Which is really doesn't oh, surge as much. Yeah, it's really anti-synergy, isn't it? Yeah. Well, actually, given that you fight, I guess it's something with the chamber because when your reloads are really long, it, it does offer you some form of defense. But. Uh, you are still reloading less. I can just spam fire reload until I get a reload and then use it, but then I can't use my gun. So yeah, this is very anti-synergy. I'm not a big fan of the, of the, the, the six chamber thing anyways. Anyways, we died. Um, to be expected. But well, this is an hour 20 episode, so I think that's completely fine. Um... Either way, this episode is actually going to make it to YouTube this time. Huzzah, huzzah. Hopefully. I hope you enjoyed me you know, living the, and talking about how you we could do something small things when we were younger. You could do something terrible right now and pretend like it didn't record <laughs> and, like, freak me out, and I'm glad that you didn't. <laughs> you know, here, I'm going to, like, I'm going to toast to this episode with a cookie, and I'm going to smack it into my microphone. Cheers. Yay. <laughs> oh. Right, yeah, we'll leave it off there, because that has been a long episode. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, nonetheless. Oh, and we will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.